Hi y'all, I'm Claudia with Eat Color with Claudia. And today we're making a dessert masterpiece. Strawberry tiramisu. Perfect for Valentine's Day or really for any holiday. But today we're gonna shape our strawberries into a heart. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button and let's get started. Every tiramisu needs ladyfingers. Now, if you need the really good kind, like Italian imported ladyfingers, and if you can't get them, well then just make them from scratch because that's what I'm gonna do. It's really easy. And the ladyfingers are kind of like a toss between a cookie and a biscuit, and they look like a finger. Let's do this. Okay, preheat that oven to 350 degrees. So we've got two bowls and three eggs. In this bowl, egg whites. In this bowl, we're gonna put the egg yolks. Lady fingers, they're really fun because you can also have them for breakfast in the morning with your coffee. Now we're gonna focus on the egg yolk bowl and add a quarter cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon salt. And now we're gonna beat this on medium speed, but we're gonna start off slow. This is going to go for a couple of minutes. Okay, there we go. Look, it's nice and pale and fluffy. Now we're going to work on the egg whites. And I just cleaned my little paddles. And now the egg whites, we're making like a meringue. It's going to be the egg whites and sugar. And we're going to beat this for a while until like, like a soft peak forms. I'll show you. And when we, we're gonna start off with just beating the egg whites and then a little while we're gonna add the sugar, but just a very, very, very little bit at a time until we get it just perfect. You can see that it's getting all nice and foamy. And now we can start adding the sugar, just a little bit at a time. Can you see that? A beautiful soft peak on top. Now, you know what? This has been sitting here for a while. And I'm going to just, whoops, knock some of this off a little bit. We don't need to rinse this again. But I'm going to give this just another little whirl because it's kind of turned a little watery. Now we want to fold the egg whites into the egg yolks. And we're going to do these like in little batches, like in three different batches. And just want to stir this in just nice and gently. Velvety and smooth and beautiful. Now we'll get a sifter, one cup of flour, and five tablespoons of cornstarch. I've already measured them out. And then you want to just sift it into your mixture. And then once again, carefully fold everything in. You want to be careful, you don't want to over mix it. You just want to just mix it. And now I'm going to get this in a piping bag and we're going to make these lady fingers. I made a mess getting the batter into the piping. Oh my goodness, but who cares, right? Okay, so each lady finger should be about four inches long. And since we're doing this on parchment paper, it works really great if you have the sheets because each sheet is folded and there's a crease which is exactly five inches. And so this really makes it easy to get four inch lady fingers all nice and even. Now you want to dust this real well with powdered sugar and get it in the oven. Let these guys cook for 12 minutes. The lady fingers cooked beautifully and I've let them cool here completely. Now I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna put these in an airtight container 
because these little lady fingers, they don't like to be exposed to the air for long because they, you know, they might lose their little crispiness on the outside. And I really want to taste one of these so bad, but I can't because I want to make sure I have enough for the cake. Now we're going to get our strawberries together. We're going to make some strawberry syrup and some strawberry cream. We're just using fresh strawberries and a little bit of sugar. The strawberries in the stores, they're amazing right now. Look how red and juicy. Oh, I think I have like 48 ounces. We're going to probably use like 30 ounces right here to make syrup. But go ahead and just um, knock off the stems. And then each one of these uh, strawberries, just cut them in small pieces because the, the smaller the pieces, the faster it will cook on the stovetop for us. I've got all the strawberries in a medium pot. Put your temperature on medium and give these guys a little stir. Let's put a third cup of sugar in and stir this. I'm also going to put a third of a cup of water in here. So I'm taking my time stirring them. I'm going to add my second third cup of water in there. Not only do we want to extract all the juices from the strawberries, we want to get the strawberries really soft. Now if you were making traditional tiramisu, you would need coffee to dip your lady fingers in. But we're not using coffee. We're using the strawberry. It's going to be so, so good. It's cooking nicely. I'm going to add another third cup of water in there. And let it simmer some more. Keep stirring and you can see how there's it's starting to get really beautiful juice in there. And the strawberries are getting softer, but it's not done. Now you see how it's starting to foam? Perfect. And when it foams, then you know that you need five more minutes and one more of water. We have made some beautiful strawberry syrup in there. And now we're going to take it and we're going to strain it just like this. Stir this and get most of all the liquid out. Now remember to turn off your heat and put the um, strawberry pulp back in the pot. Add a third cup of the sugar. Give this a little stir. And now with a blender, let's see, give this a whirl. All right, look at that. That's almost like pudding. Just perfect. Now let's slide this into a bowl. We're adding this strawberry to inside the cake. It's going to be scrumptious. Have I already said that like five times? Okay, now with some cling wrap, cover each one of the bowls. And we're going to put this in the refrigerator while we get the very last step of our tiramisu cake ready. Here's the fun part. We're doing the filling. So I have two pots because I have a pot with boiling water and I put this little strainer on here because we're doing eggs. And since we don't bake the tiramisu, I want to make sure that my eggs get heated up without getting scrambled. So it's a little tricky, but we got this. So all together, we're going to need five eggs. And like egg whites are going in this one and the egg yolks are going over here. Now I'm going to put my, this is nice and, and hot. It's boiling in here. And I'm going to place my pot on top with the egg yolks. And I'm going to give this a whirl. I almost forgot. A third cup of sugar. There we go. We'll keep this for one minute. All right, I'm gonna get this off. Finish getting this real nice and pointy. 
Oh, that looks beautiful. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the egg whites. I've got clean paddles, and now I'm going to blend this up, boil this up for about a minute. All right, looks great. Now it's time to add the cheese. This is mascarpone cheese. We're going to add this in. I've got two tubs, about uh, 17 ounces. And let's get it all in. If you're not familiar with this cheese, if you like cream cheese, this is even better. And now we're going to whirl this up. Look at this. That is a thick, beautiful cream. Now we take the egg whites and we fold it into the egg yolk mixture. Oh, so good. There we go. We have this beautiful cheese filling for our tiramisu. You see how luscious this cheese filling is. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's get this cake put together. Now, normally the tiramisu could be like in a 9 by 13 pan, but I have these 8 by 8 pans, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough for two, if I'm just going to have enough for one. So we're just going to shoot for one. We've got our lady fingers. It's the layers, okay? We've got the lady fingers. We're going to dump them in the strawberry syrup. We're going to lay them down and then we're going to put um, half of our beautiful cheese filling and then we're going to drizzle a little bit of this yummy strawberry sauce that we made earlier and then we're going to do another layer. So I'm going to take my lady fingers and dunk them. I'm going to go in there for about mm, three to four seconds, that's it, and then lay them in. We're going to put half of our beautiful tiramisu filling in there. And we're going to spread it all around. Like this. Make sure it gets all on the edges. And now we're going to drizzle some delicious strawberry filling in here. Add another layer of our lady fingers. And now, because it's not Valentine's Day, we're allowed a little bit of chocolate. We've got some white chocolate here. And I'm just going to grate this all on top. Now, and now, the final step is we're going to cover this with cling wrap. And now here's the trick. We're going to take this tiramisu and we're going to put it in the refrigerator. It's best to put it in the refrigerator overnight so that it'll set really nice. So we're going to see this guy in the morning and then we're going to decorate it with the strawberries. Good morning! It's a beautiful day for some tiramisu. I wish you were here to eat it with me. Now we're going to get ready to make a design with the leftover strawberries. So I'm going to take all my strawberries, I'm going to cut off the tips, and then try to make some nice thin slices in each one. And now you can make whatever design you want. I'm going to attempt to do a heart because it's Valentine's Day. And I think I just placed my last little mint leaf. And what do you guys think? Happy Valentine's Day, strawberry tiramisu. Well, someone's gonna need to have the first piece of this beautiful cake. And you know what? It might as well be me, right? <laughs> Mmm. Oh my goodness. If you think 
getting a tiramisu and a restaurant is good? Well, then you've never had a homemade version, I tell you. You've got to make this from scratch. It's out of this world. Oh, y'all. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope y'all have a wonderful day filled with love and treats. Until next week, y'all, bon appetit.